Hey everyone, it's time for this week's progress video. Uh, I haven't been doing a great deal this week that involves fighting other enemies. I can demonstrate everything to you that has been done just with my little group of people. Um, so one of the first and most significant things I've changed, um, I've added some more camera controls. You can actually zoom out now to get a decent view of the battlefield. Uh, you can rotate the camera to see everything around which has made me realize how drastically I need a skybox and some terrain around the actual walkable map. <laughs> so there's there's camera controls. You can move at normal speed and there's a modifier key to make you move much faster. Uh, it also makes you zoom faster and rotate faster. There's uh, screen nudging, so you can move the camera around by nudging the edge of the screen with the mouse. And those are the control based additions I've made. The other addition I've made to do with zooming in and out is the HUDs on the unit, the head text and the scroll bar, the health bars, as you can see as I zoom away from them, they're shrinking down, but you can still see them. Because with this much control over the camera, obviously the if the health bars the health bars are all the same size because I hadn't made them scroll with distance, scale with distance rather, and it, it took up a lot of the screen and looked really messy. So that was just a quick quick addition to change that. Another thing I've added this week, uh, I've started to add tooltips to certain things. The most notable ones, well, are the item and ability tooltips. So these abilities here, as you can see, tooltips pop up tell you information about the abilities. There's a lot of placeholder text in, like it will say ability and ability description or placeholder. This text is placeholder because um, I added to certain classes some new string fields purely for player facing data that I forgot to add in when I actually made them and I haven't gone through and actually given them their own data yet so it's all placeholder for now. Um, this is an ability tooltip that shows a create item ability. Uh, it shows some details about the item that you're buying and it shows the default information that will be there for all abilities which are the ability, ability description and the type of ability and recast rate so the cooldown on it. This is an example of an attack ability, which shows the damage, the burst count, the cluster count, if there is one, the AOE radius, the range, and all the default information. So this one says bullet attack, whereas the other one said buy item. That's the type of ability. Uh, and there are now also, major addition, buff spells in the game. There are buff abilities. So the tooltips for objects appear in game as well, and they're subject to the same... Uh, scaling with the distance as everything else. I thought they needed it so that you can mouse over it and see which item you're picking up. Um, it was important to see that in the game world. So yeah, another new addition is the... Oh, I didn't mean to select you. I meant to select a unit. Oh, well, I'll just force your way through. They'll get out of your way. So the addition of buff spells means now there are abilities that will increase your stats temporarily. Um, that shows all the different information about it on there. It says it's a buff spell, it's got the cooldown on there, the name and and a description of the ability, the radius of the buff, which is always personal based area effect on buff spells, so it will happen around you. This particular buff is non-stacking, uh, it lasts for three seconds and grants 10 health regen, so like drinking the energy drink is just a quick, a, a quick heal over time uh, that will be most useful for lower end units because it's on a weak item. Uh, but if we click this we'll see the health region has gone up. Three seconds later it goes back down again and now that's on cooldown. Uh, items have their own tooltip there as well as in game. Uh, so now we'll drop the energy drink and pick up this the giant running shoe that I made this week. The other change. This one gives you a buff to your movement speed of 100% for 5 seconds. Uh, which is another good thing. Because uh, obviously everyone knows tanks wearing running shoes will go double speed. Get out the way. Yeah, those are the new, those are most of the new content updates I've made. Um, the the other nice important thing is now when you send and when you send units to one area, they used to fight over that particular point. Whereas now they try to sort of arrange themselves in a loose spiraling circle uh, to prevent them all fighting. So this guy, they're all in the middle and they're starting to form the second wing. It's scalable. So if I now send twice as many here, they will organize themselves in a loose circle. And if I send these guys over, minus him, the circle will just continue to get bigger. 
And if you send them to a building, they'll intelligently try to surround the building in the space they've got. So if we send them over here, they'll pretty much do the same thing, form a circle around the building, cluster up. Uh, the same is also true for vehicles. So if we get these guys out of the way and let the vehicles run over there and do their thing, they should organize themselves into a circle rather than just fighting over the same point. Trundling off. Blocky Tonka tanks. And they've arranged. Well, it's kind of a semicircle just because of the numbers of units that there are, but it also works with groups of uh, vehicles and units, like uh, units of mixed size. If I zoom out a bit and highlight them all, turn to go over here. They'll take a little while to settle because the vehicles are a bit pushy and they get in the way of the units a bit, but it will take a lot less time for them to settle than it used to, and they will actually settle into a into a sort of circular array. There we go. I would send them over here, but I'm panicking. They're going to fall off the edge of the map and see what happens. See if they will surround this mall appropriately. Yeah, there we go. That actually went much better than expected because <laughs> I need to add walls to the map. They're getting dangerously close to be able to run off. Yeah, that is this week. Um, Probably going to carry on with player feedback, tooltips, things like that next week. It's going to be polish and, and, and adding things that need to be there. Uh, to Like adding tooltips to these things to actually say what they do. Tooltips to the various stats and buttons you can press over here to say what they do. Uh, yeah, that is, that is what I'm going to be getting on with next week. This has been this week's update and I will see you next week.